the words. He always lived the poet's life. The words were in his heart. He pinned them down to sort things out. He did so from life's start. So many nights he'd sat alone, a quiet, darkened room, trying to make some sense of life, to find light in the gloom. He wrote of life, both good and bad, of great joy and heartbreak. Sometimes his work grew long because no shortcuts would he take. He could not stop until he'd said all that he had to say. The words came from his very soul. He lived his life this way. At times he felt just like the child he always kept within. His eyes would shine. He'd laugh and write words with a silly grin. Yet other times melancholy filled him to the core. He'd contemplate on years gone by, as he lived them once more. With simple words, he pinned his life into his poetry. He shared every part of himself with anyone who'd read. Then came the day he went away, death of a simple man. He was found in his study with a pen still in his hand, a writing pad set on the desk. With it, he said goodbye. As his wife read the final words, the tears came to her eyes. He said, "My dear, my race is run. It comes quite suddenly." I thank you for the days and nights you spent right next to me. So many years of life we shared. Words cannot say how much. You've meant to me. I can't fathom my life without your touch. I'll wait for you in that beyond, as I must now depart. But as I go, please know you are forever in this heart. She had engraved in granite stone, under their marriage date, a pin across a writing pad, left to commemorate the words he loved to write down as he shared all from inside. A golden heart in humble man. Feelings he would not hide. His funeral was a simple one, just like the life he led. Around the crowd, people spoke out the words he once had said. It seems that he had touched their lives. He would have been so proud, as they quoted his poetry. The verses spoke out loud. Within but years, her time arrived. A note she left behind. She ended with five simple words from deep within her mind. They are now etched in that headstone, next to paper and pen. The words she felt best summed her life. I'm next to him. Again.